My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Slay the Spire modded with the base mod, Replay the Spire Always Well, Fetch mod, Colored Map and the Construct. Before we launch into this, I would like to address a sentiment that I have seen in a couple comments, specifically, um, play a different character mod, we've seen enough of the Construct. So, I'm going to tell you why I'm not doing that yet, and primarily, it's based around the fact that I've played a fair few of the other character mods that are currently updated um, off camera to test them out a little bit, see how they feel, see whether or not there's like unique and interesting mechanics, but also relatively intuitive mechanics, uh, see whether they feel balanced, that kind of thing. I'm not going to do all of that on camera because uh, I, I can imagine that at some point that res uh, might result in relatively obvious frustration on my part. I haven't really found any characters so far that I enjoy as much as the Construct. So for the moment, I'm going to continue doing different Construct things. It's, it's also, you know, extremely diverse in the fact that you can mega upgrade cards so pretty much any different card can become in itself a win condition. So I don't really think there's like a too much of a dilution of construct content. That's my opinion on it, frankly. Uh, I'm more than willing to hear out any opposing opinions. That said, for the moment, we're going to be going back into the Construct. I desperately want to get a run where I can get the Clockwork Egg really early on. Oh, jeez, we're going to a day. Clockwork. No. Uh, where I can get a Clockwork Egg super early on and then have that turn into our disgusting wind condition. I don't actually want to use Hyper Beam as my wind condition, though. Like, removing the ethereal on the single upgrade and then upgrading it past that to get it to deal, what is it, 80 damage plus put four days on top of your draw pile doesn't feel good. I don't know if there's any synergy that would allow me to get rid of the days easily. I've done the Gatling gun, but Battery Core is not its, win condi uh, not its own win condition. Hmm. I'm going to take Gatling. Oh, I've also uh, revamped the colored mod, right? Uh, it was spoken a little bit that the saturation seemed to... What the hell is that? Um... What? I'm definitely going to one of those spaces. Um, it's been spoken a little bit... Oh, they teleport to the other one, probably. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, it's been spoken a little bit that the saturation for some people was an issue. So I've tried to... There's only an RGB slider, right? So I've tried to choose colors that are a little less too out there and vibrant. And I've also chosen the colors very specifically. Uh, black is for things I don't want to interact with, right? I don't want to go to normal enemy spaces. So I'm basically looking for the most colorful path I can find, which is my life in a nutshell. <laughs> Okay, let's go construct. Let's go construct. Let's go. Let's go construct. Mmm, Gatling Goal would be 6, 2x, 2x, 6, 6, 6x6, by 6, 36. It's done. Yeah. Lethal. Okay. Add a card to my deck. Shift Strike is for strength. I'm going to use that as a way to amplify our ability to get to Gatling Gun being ridiculous levels as quickly as we possibly can. Okay. Actually, it would have been more damage with the Gatling gun, wouldn't have been. Hmm. All right, I'm accepting seven damage here, basically, but we're also getting the kill quite quickly. Adrenaline potion, as well as unbalancing blast, scrap cannon, and accumulate. I'm actually more than happy to take a scrap cannon so that I can start removing some things from my deck because we have seen the negatives that occasionally occur. Attack potion, as well as a steroid potion. That steroid potion is going to be a wee bit insane for us. Well, I block six damage by triple attacking the front line. I only block five if I block. So, pretty easy decision to make there. 
Skill pot, probably not. And we'll be taking none of those. Space twists itself and twirls before your very eyes. And yes, I'm on the other side. Cool. Oh, uh, whoa. Okay. So I believe, because I haven't got any other mods installed that have similar functions to this. Uh, I believe that's probably from Replay the Spire. If I don't immediately, if, if I go from the map and return to the space, it crashes the game as we've just seen. So not gonna do that again. Instead, I'll just focus on upgrading that Gatling gun. Now against pretty much any elite, I can pretty much, uh, I can just pop the steroid potion then Gatling gun for like a really easy kill. But I should also save that for the worst case scenarios. What the hell? Okay, it also kind of terraforms the map around me. Weird. Wild as hell. Not going to second strike. I don't want to transform you yet. This is way too easy to get a much better effect. Gatling. Analyze, Fierce Bash, new. All right. <clears throat> okay. That's really bad. What a garbage hand we just had. All right. I'll just remove all of those. I'm going to take the 14 on the chin. Attack mode, Gatling gun. Peace pipe. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. The problem is, it's really difficult to do that. I mean, when am I going to have the time to do that where I don't want to just be mega upgrading a card? I just don't see that. Well, this is really good. I can basically just set myself up for a ridiculous hit. While I do want to shift strike, I'm going to leave the possibility of getting the attack mode this turn. Never mind, we got shift strike instead. Um, all right, I'm going to steroid potion shift strike. Not shift strike, sorry. Whoops. Hmm, <clears throat> Gatling? Oh. Attack mode again. Strike, strike. Copying 18 on the chin here. That steroid potion didn't actually exactly work out the way that I'd intended. Bag of marbles at the start of each combat apply one vulnerability to all enemies. So there's another shift strike. Golden egg. Whenever you add a rare card to your deck, it is upgraded. Whenever you purchase a card from the merchant, it is upgraded. I like that that's, that's being changed to now whenever you purchase a card from the merchant, it's also upgraded. That's That's really good. It previously felt a wee bit too niche. All right. Come on, come on, come on. That was two shift strikes. There's the Gatling gun. Yeah. Figured it'd be something like that. I'm going to take an attack potion just to see if I can kill him. I can. Darkstone parry up to whenever you obtain a curse. Increase your max HP by six. Okay, Centennial Puzzle, the first time you lose HP each combat, draw three cards. I've got one more Elite on this floor. If I can get all of them down, I am going to be so damn proud of myself. And in fact, it looks like I will be. So Gatling's seven, nine times. So seven, nine times is 63. Grinning Jar, obtain a skill that draws two cards. Obtain an additional copy for every other 12 cards added to the deck. So we'll get two of them here. And I'll pass those. So I'm actually going to be really interested in... Oh my god. Upgrade two cards <laughs> randomly and it prioritizes rarer cards. But the Gremlin Horn is actually probably the real take here, right? Because it means the Gatling Gun is actually going to give me energy back to kill something else. Yeah. This is going to get really insane really quickly. 
It's going to be super important that we get the attack mode super upgraded as well. As much strength as we can have is the limit that we want. Strike, strike. Scrap cannon to remove the defend. The defense mode is effectively out of the cycle right already. Eight, eight by nine, eight by nine, 71. Yeah, which one? 72, sorry. I mean, I was close though. One down, one to go. <laughs> Strength potion as well as hammer down, shield burst, and anti-matter. Hammer down used to be two energy. I was wondering why people were able to get it to go, to go so ridiculous where I was not capable of doing that. That said, it will be immediately upgraded as soon as I pick it up. I'm going to take it. Gets upgraded by the golden egg, and then I can upgrade it again myself. Uh, add three slimed every time you shop your draw pile. Frankly, if I do not take chewing gum and get the extra energy there, I'm not going to be casting hammer down literally ever. So, probably worth picking it up. Maximum of three elites. More than happy to do so. Not that many upgrades along that path, though. Damn it. Should have played the defense first. That's my bad. That 3 HP that I just lost is all my fault. Should have done that in the opposite order, but I've guaranteed lethal. The Gatling gun's in my next hand. It's just death. No. As much as I do want to thicken up my deck, I also don't want to thicken up my deck, right? Oh, gosh. Because I need to get to my attack mode of my Gatling gun literally as soon as it's humanly possible. <sighs> Chain Strike's actually probably really good. It's a way to cheat out the hammer down. Oh, my God. These are so much better than what we have right now. Hell, yeah. Immediately use the fruit juice. Again, should have defended first. That's entirely my bad. No one but myself to blame. I mean, it worked out in the end. There's another attack card in my deck, so I knew I already had to kill, so I didn't want to use the Grinning Jar. Skill Pot, as well as Flame Core Versatility Point Defense. No, thank you. Okay, how quickly can we kill here? Ooh. And we get two energy back. Actually going to use a Skill Potion here as well. Metal Shell, nice. I can actually fully defend, exactly fully defend off the back of that uh, Metal Shell. Thanks, game. Attack mode, shift strike, hammer down. There we go. It's got to be pretty much impossible to stop me at this point, right? Yeah. As it turns out, yes is the answer to that one. Sundial every three times you shop your, uh, your draw pile, gain to energy. Shift gun enhance or analyze. No, thank you again. We tried to do that Mega Enhance Enhance deck previously. It didn't really work out to our favor. Guess I'm removing the hammer down here. Okay. There we go. Shift Gatling. <sighs> Gatling is really strong. Multiplicant effects can get out of control really quickly. Uh, Metal Kit is unfortunate in that it does not allow you to exhaust your wounds for free. Uh, sorry, your slimes for free from chewing gum, whereas you would expect it to. Uh, in the same way that Blue Candle doesn't allow you to play, I think it's Shame for free. Wee bit rough on those factors.
Okay, nothing else there I want either. Let's go for our second elite. The boot! Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. That's just not going to happen that often for us. Uh, I'll take the HP there. Weirdly. Not usually what I would do. Uh, at least they get a hammer down. It's left in there. Oh, got that. Gatling gun's not going to be enough, right? Nine, three, so it's 12. Nine by 12 is... Uh, it's 108. That. Take another hit. And Gutling Gun for some damage, but not all the damage. Um. Okay. I didn't shuffle my deck twice, but okay. Looks like I actually got two credits for it on Sundial as well. Runic Dedicate Hedron, if your HP is full, gain energy at the start of each turn. Another Gatling Gun. Probably too much. Probably way too much. One enemy down. How am I going to get my HP back in this build? I don't know. I frankly don't know how I'm going to get it back. Ooh, Cursed Concoction is just going to be like a real quick kill as well. Defend, 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 defend. Attack mode. And now we wait. Explosive Potion before Gatling Gun. I was really expecting I was going to be able to kill someone there. I'm actually, frankly, a wee bit mortified that I didn't. The idea was that I was going to kill one of them. It was going to give me the energy back from the Gremlin Horn, and then I was going to keep going. Yeah, it's counting my deck as shuffling twice a lot of the time. Oddly. Oh, Memorial Negate, the next few curses you obtain, as well as Hasty Repair. Hell yes, that is going to be so good. It gets immediately upgraded, added, in, added into our deck. It's going to help us keep on max HP, so we get the extra energy from the Runic Dedicahedron. It is just all round great. I probably want to take Dolly's Mirror upon pickup, obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. I just don't know what I want an additional copy of right now. Gotta be Gatling Gun. It's literally just to have it more consistent on my draws. Okay. Start getting the mega upgrades out there. No, that's a bit too consistent, frankly. Oh boy, we might actually die because we had that that early. In fact, I think we will. Oh, God. Yeah, there's my hammer down, gone. Yikes. Oh, man. This can only take attacks from your draw pile as well, and we don't have a draw pile to draw from. Okay. Let's attack mode, hasty repair, shift strike. Right. Defend. Should have done that before I attack moded, frankly. It's one of my Gatling guns. Game. That hurts. Stop doing that. Okay. Attack mode. The shift strike on the back line. That gives me a Gatling gun. Kills. 
That one got close. All right, I'll take a swift potion hit. Clockwork egg, thank you. Immediately upgrades on the pickup. I'm actually just going to go straight from... I'm taking the Blossom Stone here for the extra energy, by the way, because every single extra energy is insane with the Gatling gun. Um, I'm probably just going to go to as many rests as I possibly can. One, two, so it's already upgraded to level one, right? So I can't even fully upgrade it. It's this. It's like a rest with like a, a circle around it. I need to go to that. I want to see what's up. Yeah, that was a lot of damage against me. Ouch. Um, hasty repair. Beautiful. Oh my god. I actually attacked twice where I didn't need to. Good lord, Ryan. This is what happens when I get a really, really quick run. My brain stops working because it's like, oh, you don't need me. You've got this. Like there. Okay. Definitely repair hastily. And then murder. Steroid potion synchronized when you innate, when you draw two of the same card in a row, deal 10 damage to all enemies. This used to also draw a card, but it chained off way too easily. All right. Don't need any of those, frankly. Hamadan isn't even that good for us right now. The self damage is damn insane. These spikers can take the build down. Frankly, it wouldn't even be difficult. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to have to heal at all of these rest sites as much as I don't want to. Upgrade all cards. 999 gold and curse with two normality. Do I have a shop along this line? I don't necessarily. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal that. You know what? I'm going to do it. That will prevent hasty repair from ever being useful. But look, think about it like this. I think if I don't do that, I'm just going to win, definitely. Whereas now I've basically just decided to increase the difficulty. Clockwork egg, hammer down. Uh-oh. Damn it. I didn't want to get into the new deck. I should have checked what was in. I really can't afford to take that much. Damage. Never mind. Looks like I'm taking it regardless. Oh, boy. 128 in terms of our damage, though. No? Uh, that's our strength. It, I didn't shuffle two times. Game. Need to stop. <sighs> At least we had a kill. All these moves thrown. Start each combat with plus one dex. Hell yeah. Great way to get our hammer down started off. I'm not going to play the Clockwork Egg. I'm going to make sure that I upgrade it one more time. I guess I'm going to be playing it in the final fight. Oy. pretty important they instantly kill them because they were going to screw me up. 
Blue Candle, Curse Cards can now be played. Playing a Curse will make you lose 1 HP and exhaust the card, as well as Blur Coating. Uh, sorry, uh, Reflective Coating. Gain 3 Blur and 3 Reflection. That has to be from Replay the Spire, because those... Reflection, as a statistic, is from Replay the Spire. It's if you fully block an attack, reflect the damage. Um, happy Flower, every 3 turns, gain an energy. Anything that gives me energy is obviously great for us. Come on, and... That'll do. <sighs> Don't need another plaque barrage. I mean, Gatling is just our win condition. Just let Gatling be our win condition, damn it. Nice. Hazard proof. Theoretically useful. Ah, uh, there's another spiker. I'm frankly being as serious as I possibly can when I say that spiker is like the one thing that can guarantee that I will lose. Fear. Not for those though. Please don't have a spiker after this space. I am. I'm actually terrified. So 23 by 12. 23 by 12. Is that even going to be enough damage? Because I'm dead, right, this turn. 23 by 12. 23 by 12. Uh, 23 by 12 is just going to be 240. It's not going to be enough at all. 25 by... It's not going to be enough. So what... What I've learned... Is... Don't do what I do pretty much ever if you can avoid it. I did specifically take the upgrade all cards because I wanted the game to be a bit more of a challenge because at the start I was just destroying everything with the Gatling gun and I've done that run before. I've done it. Don't need to do that one again. So... I did kind of throw it a little bit because I didn't really care to try and keep it alive, if that makes that much sense. Because I wanted my best to try and get this Clockwork Egg fully upgraded, so I needed the upgrade from that position. Because in the final space, I was going to upgrade it one more time. And it doesn't even show you. But I've seen what it becomes when you can upgrade it three times. And I really want to show that off in the series. I just hope that I can get the Clockwork Egg as one of my starter cards one of these days without then, you know, immediately losing the run. My name has been Rhapsody. Spikers are evil, sent directly from hell to screw with everyone they interact with. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time, Johnson.